Hey! Finally! Alright, on the pole. In the number 61 vehicle, Josh Gaiman on the outside pole. And we number 80 of Christina Ryan. Number two on second row, third place, Alexander Jaeger with Jimmy Cato. Having a good run in our test session. Ended up P4. P5 going to be Reese Gardner with P6 of Cade McKee on his outside. David Cornelius, P7, and Bruce Silva on the eighth place starting position. Brandon Dollar, P9. Leah Noodle, P10. Lilac Zier, P11. Darren Blatz, P12. Ben Brian, P13. Cheek Kuba, P14. And then Olivia Hayward got all the work to do, but she could definitely do it as starting in P15. Ladies and gentlemen, Green flag, green flag. Let's go, little rascals racing here at Wild West. We are already about four wide here for P1. I think Gaiman just lifting. So he's going to drop back. Oh, big kerfuffle here on the start. Get Davids trying to put muscle moves in. As a big battle for the lead, Chibi Kato comes up with the lead. Christina to the inside of Alex Yeager. Is she going to get that pass done? easily she tries to close them off they're still about three wide oh we got a wreck in the back i think that was ben and leah getting together as we're still fighting for second place christina finally gets it done with alex jaeger in tow jimmy cato finding his way to the lead going a bit wide there that's going to open the door for christina ryan get a great great exit is she going to have the run? There is a little bit of draft in these things. Opting to... Oh, I, I hear I hear things. Oh, Ben dropping back to the back. Jimmy going a little bit wide. Door wide open for Christina. Christina takes the lead. As the ticker finally works. It's a, it's a little outdated, but it's, it's there. Christina Ryan to the lead now. We're going to see if Jimmy can hang on to second place. He's going to try to defend from Alex Yeager. Alex Yeager to the inside. Really hard to pass here at Wild West. Maybe a little bit of bump to Kato. Not going to be enough as game in through the self-inflicted EOL is on his way up through the field. Yeager still to the inside. Going to go off the berm a little bit. Jimmy is holding the zone. He's going to hang on to that second place for at least one more lap. Josh Gaiman coming through the field. Getting another spot on Brandon Dollar. 14 trucks still on the track. Ben parking it. The realm has indeed been shadowed. You go to that exit fence. We are in trouble. Olivia Hayward also making a great run through the field. Basically following Gaiman. Just a couple of trucks back. Lap two. Ooh, Reese goes wide, gonna open the door up for Olivia. She's gonna need the run on the inside, can't quite get it done, but crisscross applesauce, one of the easiest moves, and makes it stick! Reese gonna try to fight back up the inside, a little bit of contact. Reese Gardner gonna have the pull, but is Olivia gonna be able to cross him up here? Not quite. Oh, Biscuit, something's happening up here. Gaiman getting to the door of Davin. Davin holding down P6 while Brew with P5. She's trying to hang on to it. Can't do it. The big fan CEO is going to enter the top five, but Josh Gaiman going to follow him through on the outside. And that's 213 Simware Machine. Current leader Christina Ryan got a gap of 1.4 seconds to, Ale uh, to Jimmy Cato, who is still holding off Alex Yeager. Davin trying to get the move done on the outside. Josh Gaiman taking the inside. Ooh, it's a stack up back there. It's a stack up back there. And, uh, oh, oh boy, Brandon. <laughs> that is, you're going to have to turn around, Chief. That is not going to, I, unfortunate. He is, he is the post. If we jump back on. With your leaders, that will be Brandon Dollar also joining Ben in the pits, starting from the outside pole. Oh, he's back out there. Waiting for the tow. Closest battle on track right now going to be Brew and Davin. Brew, I think, a bit quicker in these as we see Gaiman making his way through the field. 
Ooh, I say that we're side by side once again for P2. Jaeger trying to try to cross up on the inside. Probably the best pat overtaking maneuver here. Jimmy's got the run on the outside, though. I think Alex is going to have to send it. Oh, Jimmy goes super wide. And into the fence. Alex has got the run, though. I think this should be pass complete. Going into T1, can he get it done? Oh, just gives him enough room. Jimmy's gonna try to cross up back up the inside. He can't do it into the wall. We got Gaiman and I think that's the key back there side by side as well. Ooh, big slider from Alex trying to fight for the second place. He's been trying to dig on Jimmy Kato for about four laps now. And finally gets it done. Is Jimmy gonna have the nose to stick up the inside? He does, he's not giving up. What a battle for second place right now, and Josh Gaiman is coming for third. He is side-by-side side with Cade McKee right now. Trying to get it done. Going to have the inside line going into the line. last corner. Is he going to get the drive out? I think it's pass complete as the battle up front here is going to settle down a little bit. Bruta Silva still trying to get back to Davin. And Olivia, who's got a ton of speed, just unfortunately not getting a qualifying lap in. So as soon as she gets clear, which she is now, she's running a second faster than the two trucks in front of her. So keep an eye on a, the 72 machine. Jimmy not giving up, not letting Alex Yeager pull away here. That is, is currently the Christina Ryan show. Three second lead on the field. So she will be starting from the back in race two. She can hang on to it. And the battle here is for second. Jimmy going really wide. He's going to have to keep it out of the fence. That is the dangerous zone. And that's why you just saw it. Good save from Jimmy Cato. But Gaiman is going to overtake into third position. Getting the pass done. Now he sets his sights on second place. As I believe Brandon Dollar is finally rejoining the field. Thank you for joining us as the battle is starting to heat up now for sixth place. Dabbing going to run the inside line here. See if Brew can hang on to it. Dabbing goes a little bit wide. Brew's going to have the lane here now. Side by side, these two drivers are. If I can get to a camera, that'll show it. Davin holding the inside. We're going to try to go for a line down the front straight. Just not quite going to happen. So again, this is your closest battle on the track right now. As Davin Cornelius tries to hold off. Drew Silva, who is about half a second a lap quicker. And again, don't forget about that 72 machine who is closing the gap rapidly. Especially if these two fight. Drew just trying to find a way to set a pass up. Dabbing going in that corner a little bit deeper. And just sliding out wide. Gaiman starting to close the gap to Jaeger now. Right to the bumper of the 42 machine. See if he can't get it done. He's got a 42 in this race, or 54 in this race. Two tenths quicker than your leader. So Christina making the best of clean air. Trying to get clear of the field. Right in behind now. Aye, right, this is too quiet. Yeah, that's better. Game into the inside. Alex gives him room. There's going to be contact on the exit just a little bit. Game and trying to get stretched the legs of this Pro 2 light machine to get clear. Ooh, he's still on the inside though. Alex won't give up. Not quite getting the rotation, and that's not going to help Alex at all as Gaiman from the back of the field takes P2 and is ready to set sail. As we still have this fight going on for sixth place, David Cornelius to the inside now of Bruce Silva. Bruce, she's going to try to hang it out on the outside, going, giving him a bit too much room. 
may have the undercut here on speed. There's Olivia. As both of these drivers have picked up their pace. David hanging it all out on that inner berm. Brew trying to make something happen here. Let's see if I remember to fix this camera. Sure didn't. Ooh, a little bit deep is Davin. She can make up for it here. Great exit. I think she's going to have to get the elbows out. Get out of my face, bug. You jerk. I was going to bug down here. To see her try to chase down that 77 machine. Brandon Dollar up there. Trying to make the best of it. Get some laps in. As we enter lap 11, I think we two laps to go here. Maybe just not having enough time to get it done, but she'll get it done in the second race. Christina, again, just making really consistent laps. Her best time is a 55-0, and her last lap is a 55-1. So Gaiman is starting to close the gap, but it will not be enough if she can keep this pace. Brew trying to get something done here as we are on the white flag lap. It just updated really slow. Last lap to go. Can the 23 of Bruce Silva make it happen on Davin Cornelius here in race number one? I think that was her chance. As your winner coming around the final turn, the 80 machine, Christina Ryan. You taking the win in the first Little Rascals Pro 2 light race here from Wild West. First of two. She takes the checkered, keeps it clean, and that clean air leads her to a win with Gaiman in second. These two will be starting from the back row of race. Oh, my God. Alex Yeager has left the building, ladies and gentlemen, as I don't think Brew got it done. So that's Christina Ryan in first, Josh Gaiman in second. Alex Yeager in third. Jimmy Cato with a great finish in fourth place with the best time of 55-172. So he's been putting in the work. Caden McKee with the P top five. Davin, oh, there is a cuddle puddle going on in turn one. Davin with the P6. Bruce Silva just not quite getting it done. P7. Olivia starting from the back row, getting up to eighth place. Still a great run from her. Lilac and coming in over the line here in P9. Reese Gardner, P10. Chi and Leah going to be 11th and 12th respectively with Darren Blatz, who I believe just got eye racing for this with a respectable... 12th position. Well, I mean, you put it that way. That's enough of game. And race number two getting underway here. Brandon Dollar going to be starting from the, li the lead. As Ben opting not to start. Green flag. One of the wackiest starts I've ever seen, but who gives a shit? Brandon Dollar leading him down to the green flag with Darren Blatz on the inside. Let's see if we can get a camera into the midfield here. Let me go into T1. Ooh, I think everybody just about makes it clean. I think Cade and Jimmy maybe having a conversation. Olivia with a hot start up to P5. I think she gets drilled from behind. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we thought was going to happen. Big wreck. Gaming out of it. Now that is, I think, Davin stuck on his side. Did not go the best for your big fan esports CEO. He's going to wait to be flipped over, but we're going to jump back into the battle for lead here. Olivia Hayward making moves. As I think there was an issue back here, Chikuba in the wall. She's going to drop back. And it's Christina Ryan that starts to move up the field. Your current Highest place finisher that was up at the front is Gaiman in fifth already. I think that big wreck in T2 just scuttled everybody back. Cato, unfortunately, way back there. Did Davin get... No, he did the right thing. Thank you, Davin. Darren Blatt still hangs on to the lead in one of his first iRacing endeavors ever. Love to see it. Brandon Dollar trying to make amends for the second race in second place. And Reese Gardner... Rounding out your top three right now with Olivia Hayward. 
hot on their heels, but she's got Josh Gaiman feeling her rearview mirror. He's going to take a look up the inside. Hang it on the berm. Not going to quite get it done. May have the run going into one here, though. Takes a peek on the inside while I choose to have a sip of water. She's going to give him the space. Does Gaming get the run out of the corner? He does not. Olivia's going to try to hang it up the inside. Side by side for P4. And in the deep into the corner, and McKee gets into Gaming. Here we go again. McKee saying, I want some of that too. Christina Ryan, your P race run winner, trying to score a top five here in the reverse grid race. As my computer is not happy about something. Josh Gaiman to the inside. Oh, getting into Olivia just a little bit. because she hang on to it, Olivia? She does. She's going to lose a spot from that. Cade McKee to the inside here now. I'm sure she wants to hang on to P5. Cade's going to go in deep. Olivia's going to say absolutely not. Give him a bit of the business. Oh, and Darren's in the wall. No. Darren dropping back. He did his goddamn best to hang on to that. But oh, Cade McKee from down the fuck town. Just ships Josh Game into space. He's got one coming back to him 110%. You know what I mean? I not even need to. This is a battle for third. Olivia Hayward hanging on to third place, but she's got Cade McKee and Josh Gaiman side by side in the rear view mirror. Gaiman's going to send it into the corner. Olivia's going to have to go wide. Does that open the door for McKee? And Christina Ryan's in the picture. We have a four-way battle for third place here. I love a good four-way on a Friday night, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fucking go. Christina to the inside of McKee now. She's going to go in deep, but so is he going to go in deep. Everybody checks up. Christina's got a great one on the outside. They're about to be three wide. This ain't going to work. McKee's in deep. Olivia's going to get shuffled back, and Jaeger's trying to pick up the pieces. Christina not giving up. She's going to hang on to fourth spot. Reese Gardner is running away with this race, but we are not even halfway. Jaeger gets the move done to McKee and Olivia now. What happened here? Darren Blatt's going to get that spot back again. Damage is off, so if you can recover. Oh, she gives him the business. This is getting really dicey here in the middle. Jaeger now P5. I think we are settling down just a little bit. Gaming going to try to get to the back of Brandon Dollar. This battle is... These two are not happy with each other. There is no way. Olivia gets the move done, but Cade's not going to give it up. Oh, I think he might here now, actually. Yep, goes in a bit deep, but... Olivia with the... Okay. Okay. Let's relax a little bit. Getting a little rough there. I mean, you do have to get aggressive for positions. As Gaiman moves up to second, can he win two in a row? Or can he get two in a row? Or get his first win here? I forgot Cassandra won the first race. My bad. She's not to the back of Brandon Dollar. Hey, we're going to try to get back to McKee for sixth and seventh place. As Davin Cornelius rejoins the track three laps down. That's a good sport. That's my tough customer of the race. Ryan going to try to set it up. We do have a move here. I think she just fallen back. Never driven these too much, and she's used to the Pro 4. This is a different world. Jimmy Cato trying to make up for that abysmal start. She just turned in on him there. I'm not quite sure what happened. Let's take, let's take a look at the live action replay. And by live action, I mean live action. Let's go chase camera. Yeah, off-road racing. She turned in for her line, but Jimmy was there. 
Muscled out of the way. That's what's going to... Oh, Brandon dropping back. We have an issue with Brandon Dollar. I think he just didn't want the smoke. He just did not want the smoke. He said, no thanks. I am not interested. As this battle still rages on, Cade McKee and Olivia Hayward, it looks like the battle for fifth has been the battle to watch all night. Olivia a little bit wide. She's going to get the run on the corner. On the outside of the corner, though, Kate can't really close the door. And if he does, he's going to get a tap. That he does. Olivia's not giving up on the inside position. Jimmy Cato making spots up now to eighth. If these guys keep fighting, if these drivers keep fighting, Jimmy Cato is going to be in this mix sooner rather than later. Resetting a personal best of a 55-0. I don't know what Gardner's been up to in the last week, but he has figured this out. Just over halfway in race number. As I say that, what happened? Game into the lead. Why do I open my stupid little mouth? Reese has nothing for him. Game in going to give him the inside. But that is Reese Gardner losing the lead to the guy who should be winning, Josh Gaiman. Let's try to see if we can get a replay on that one. Yeah, nope, Gaiman just was a lot closer than I thought. Got to the bumper, used a little bit of the draft. Reese went in a little bit deep. Gaiman said, thank you. Got that pass done. Jumping back on the battle for fifth place. I think Olivia can do it. She's just got some work to do. Ooh, a little bit into the fence there. Christina is going to be the next one to catch Reese. But again, Reese is defying my expectations here. Flying. As Gaiman lighting the track on fire right now. The 54-139. That is a stupid lap time. As Jaeger is starting to catch up to Ryan here a little bit now. We'll take a look at that battle for fifth as it develops. Two laps to go here in race number two. And that first race wasn't bad, but we got a treat here in the middle of the second race. What a great battle in the midfield. In Little Rascals. If you want to enjoy your watching, exclamation mark, Little Rascals in chat. I promise I'll have the second one more figured out than the first. Jaeger trying to see if he can close down Christina Ryan. Two tenths quicker that last time around. That's not going to help. Just throwing it a bit too much and getting a little bit of that K-rail. This is the battle on the track right now. Everyone else has got about a second or two away from each other. Brandon Dollar actually trying to mix it up with Chikuba. Bruce Silva, I'm getting thrown back there. We got Jimmy in the wall. Not sure what happened to Jimmy there. Something could happen here as we move on to your last lap. White flag on the racetrack. I don't think Jaeger's going to be able to get it done as the track starts to slick off here. You start to see that blue... Form. You can use it in these Pro 2 lights, but you have to be very careful on how you do. As we ride from the back of Christina Ryan to see if we can get Alice, if Alice can challenge Christina for third place. And I don't think it's going to happen as Josh Gaiman coming down to the last corner. Josh Gaiman. I think we'll take the overall win here in the Little Rascals. Race number one from Wild West Motorsports Park. Checkered flag out for the 61. And Josh Gaiman, great race from Reese Gardner, P2. Christina Ryan hot in his heels, P3. Alex Yeager coming across the line, P4. This battle ended up getting springing a little bit more spread out. Kate McKee, P5. Olivia Hayward, tough customer of the race, P6. She put up with a lot of shit and didn't take any. As I, th as I think, I think she got her point across right there. Darren Blatt's not a bad finish at all. 
Best lap of a 56-3. Again, I don't know how much practice he's had, but I think he got iRacing just for this league. So congratulations to him. And then Jimmy Cato, again, getting caught up in that lap on Kurt Buffel. Brandon Dollar, another one of those that got just went, I don't want any of this smoke. And running up at the field, Lee, a noodle, Chi, Kuba, Bruce Silva, unfortunately, falling a lap down. And Davin Cornelius will be truck number 14. Ladies and gentlemen, that was your Little Rascals race number one.